Hey, it's Angry Admin here from AngrySysOps.com and as you can see my background, I just received my VCP DCV 2023 patch, uh, which I am very happy, but we are continuing our series for you to get that batch today, lap number six. Let's do it. What we are going to do in this lap, we are going to create standard switches. As you can remember from previous labs, we are already logged in and I will not uh, take you through the process of logging in to the vCenter. Let's add virtual machine pod group named production to the host um, 01. So let's right click on the host and click add networking. Now we have uh, three options, but we are interested in the virtual machine pod group for standard switch. So the option number two, click next, select new standard switch. We leave the MTU as it is and click next. On this stage, let's select VMLink2 and move down to active adapters section. Let's click next. And we put a label on the network called production. We don't change the VLAN ID. Let's click next and finish. It will take a few moments to create our switch and the pod group. Okay, that's been completed. Uh, let's see how it's been done. So we go into the configure and now we can see virtual switches. Uh, let me create that one. So we have standard switch zero and standard V switch one. This is our VNIC two, which we move to that, uh, which we move to the switch uh, one and the rest of the NICs stays on the vSwitch 0. We did that to separate our production traffic from our management traffic and our storage traffic. Um, as you can see on the switch v0, v, vSwitch 0, we have a storage IPs and management network and on the new switch vSwitch 1, we want to have a productions. So now what we are going to do, we are attach, we are going to attach virtual machines to the virtual machine port group on the vSwitch one. So now let's put one of our VMs to the production network. Um, let's choose VM name Linux 02. Uh, let's right click on it. Let's edit settings. And as you can see now uh, that VM is connected to VM network and we want to change to our uh, production network. Uh, as you can see, there is no production network here. That's why we have to click on browse and select our production. Click OK, click OK, and that is done. Now to check it, Let's have a look if that production pod group is listed over here. So now if you would like to power that VM on, let's click on the power on and let's wait a few moments. Let's observe. Let's observe the booting process. This VM is pre-configured uh, with the local admin account. Um, but again, if it's a new Ubuntu, uh, you just need to log in with the user you provide uh, during the system installation. Um, or if it's a Windows, um, similar process um, to, uh, to log in into your uh, VM. So let's click on the terminal now and let's uh, 
check if we have a IP assign. And as you can see, the IP address is 172.20.11.102. And let's see if we can ping the production network gateway. Now, remember that your network could be configured with different IPs and you can set up the different uh, gateways. Um, in my case, um, the 172.20.11.2 is a default gateway for the production network, which we can see it's pinging. Um, so what we can do now, we can add another VM to the production network, a uh, VM uh, Linux 04. Uh, let's do the same process, edit settings. We will choose the network. We will browse, production, okay, okay and we can power on um, that VM. Let's see, we see that its production network is listed here. Um, let's open the console. And you can see the Ubuntu system starts now. And we can see that we have the same network, 172.20.11.103. And if we ping the uh, gateway, which is 172.20.11.2, we have a successful ping. Okay, guys, so this was lab number six. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe and click all the notification not to miss another lap. Thank you, and I'll see you in the lap number seven.